Today on Guys, so do Sashis. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Adam. On today's episode, we're going to be exploring super cool solutions by making soda slushies. It's not just a slushy, it's a super slushy. Right. A super cooled solution is any solution that's been brought below its typical freezing point and yet remains a liquid. The only things you need for this experiment are any flavor of bottled soda and a freezer. To start the experiment, all you have to do is shake up your pop quite a lot and place it in your freezer for two and a half to three hours, depending on your freezer. After an hour and 45 minutes, check your pop to see if it's been frozen. If it hasn't frozen yet, leave it for another 15 minutes and check every 15 minutes until one of the bottles freezes. Take note of the time and subtract 15 minutes. This newly calculated time is the perfect length of time to create super cooled slushies. The next step is to gently open the bottle to release all the gases and then pour it into your frosted bowl. You can do this trick with any pop. Here's an example using orange soda. You can also do this without a chilled bowl. Gently open your bottle, reseal it, and give it a good shake. This will cause the crystallization of our soda into a slushy. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Supercooling is the process of lowering the temperature of a liquid or a gas below its natural freezing point without it becoming a solid. The freezing point of a solution is the temperature at which it changes state from a liquid to a solid. When we shake our soda pop, we are knocking carbon dioxide molecules out of the liquid solution and into the airspace in the bottle. This removes large bubbles from our soda, which could act as sites where ice crystals could start to form. It also increases the pressure inside our bottle. Increasing the pressure inside our bottle causes the natural freezing point of the liquid in our bottle to drop. As our bottle sits in the freezer, energy is removed and its temperature begins to drop. After a few hours, Enough energy has been removed to cause the temperature in our liquid to drop below its natural freezing point, but it still remains a liquid. As we mentioned earlier, the increased pressure is key in preventing our liquid from freezing. So when we remove our bottle from the freezer and open it up, the pressure inside the bottle is released, but because shaking it also removed large bubbles where crystals could form, our pop will stay liquid until there's something the ice crystals can grow on. When we pour our liquid into a chilled bowl, the liquid comes in contact with tiny ice crystals in the bowl. This causes instant freezing of our soda. Instant freezing also occurs when we shake our bottle and large carbon dioxide bubbles are released. Ice crystals form around these bubbles and create our tasty slushy. Well, that was Super Cool Solutions and Soda Pop Slushies. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked our video, remember to subscribe to us on YouTube and drop us a comment below. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this experiment or about science in general, feel free to message us on Facebook or in the comments below and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye! My belly's full of Slurpee, my belly's full of Slurpee. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.